sound worse though Baby girl, you lift me up Trying to get a car up or two down Yo, what's going on everybody? Need for Beans over here. In this video, I'll show you guys how to make the awesome transition you saw in the beginning. First thing you want to do is get your clips, drag them over to the timeline. Now I'm going to cut the clips where we want to make the transition. So in this case, let's say right after I get the kill, I want to make a transition, let's say right here. So I'm going to go Control, Backspace to cut it. Right click, cut. Here as well, we're going to clip in, let's say, let's just say right here, we want to cut it, cut in. Right click, cut. Now put them together. The transition we're going to use is called uni.cube. So you want to make sure you have that. Uh, you want to make sure you have the universe plugins installed. Drag and drag the transition like this. So it should look like this. It's going to take some time to render. Now at this point, what you want to do is unlink the clips from the audio. Select both the clips. Right click, compound clip. Now here's what you want to do at this point. We're going to cut the clip even more. So the first cut is going to happen when the transition first starts, which is going to be right here. Control backsp backspace to cut the clip. Now the second cut is going to be right when the first square disappears like this. And we're just going to the third cut is just going to be where the transition ends right here. The last next frame is so right about here, control backspace. So now you have the clips like this. Now we're going to go ahead and alt and drag this clip up. At the clip on top, we're going to start the start it when this second square just sh shows up, which is right here. And we're going to end it at the very end, like this. And we we'll go ahead and remove this cut. So it should look like this. The first clip is going to be the first square. Once the first square disappears, the clip underneath disappears and the second clip on top starts when you can start seeing the first the second square which is right here all right so this makes sense so far okay now at this point right click open in uh, open infusion page and actually go to the color colorista mode right here right click add alpha output you can go ahead and connect it and now if you've guessed also check this corrector one key keyframe same thing as my previous tutorial. We're gonna go ahead and make a mask, but this time it's gonna be much easier. So we're just gonna mask the first cube just like this. And then we're gonna go frame by frame and adjust the mask um, to the square. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and fast forward and I'll see you guys in just a second. So now we do this, we're going to go ahead and all the way back, make sure that we connected our alpha output. Go back to the editor. Now, right click on the top clip and we're going to do the same thing. So open this infusion where you can just click the colorista mode like this. Right click, add alpha output, go ahead and connect that. First frame, keyframe, select the polygon tool and let's get to masking. Also want to mask the second square, don't mask the first square. So you might not be able to see the first square on uh, the first few frames. So just start the mask when on the first frame that you see it. So here's the first frame that we see the square. And let's go ahead and select it just like this. All right, now that you've done this, we can go ahead and back to the editor. And we're going to go ahead and compound this first clip one more time and do the same thing with the top clip, new compound clip. All right, now at this point, we can add the presets. So go ahead and click on the first one, right click and open in Fusion page. I'm going to go ahead and add, give you guys some of my presets. So the first preset we're going to use is NFB transition electric so the first step preset is going to be nfb transition electric go ahead and drag and drop it you will need unit.ecto for this once you get the preset you'll notice here it will look just like 
first there's first transition is going to be uni.electric it looks just like this and go back to the editor go to the compound clip and here is where we're going to add right click go open a fusion page and here we're going to go ahead and add nlb transition fire go drag and drop it like this and there you go if you go look at back here let's go ahead and let it render it looks just like this now you can mess a little bit with the as you can see see as you can see here you probably want to take this one frame back so that when the fire comes in it makes more sense so overall this is how it looks if you want to show i'll show you guys just right click and create another compound clip then render cache color output let's go to mute the audio let's give it a few seconds to render and i'll show you guys the final product all right, so there you guys have it. This is the final product here. You can see we can still adjust some of the uh, some of the mask here. As you can see on some frames, like here, the fire overtakes it. So we could adjust the mask a tiny bit here and there just to make it look a little better. But overall, it's really hard to notice. And this is a really nice transition. It's one of my favorite. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Need for Beans, out. Peace.